In this video, I will demonstrate the use of the stratigraphic sequence and vein tools to build a geological model. The drilling for this deposit has been simplified using the majority composite, group lithology and interval selection tools. We now have a complete set of lithological units that we can build the geological model with. I have already created a simple geological model that is linked to the interval selections and I'm now ready to build the surface chronology. For the transported unit, I will use the erosion surface. Selecting the contacts below, this generates a continuous surface throughout the deposit. For the mafic, ultramafic and sediment units, I will be using the stratigraphic sequence tool. This tool is perfect for stratiform units where the contact behaviour is consistent throughout the deposit. I select the first unit sediment in the lithology above section. Then the second unit will be the ultramafic. And then the lithology at the base of the deposit will be mafic. You can change the contact type for the lowest unit to either deposit or erosional contact. The deposit surfaces are grouped under the stratigraphic sequence and are generated much faster than individual deposit surfaces. Finally, I will use the vein tool to create a vein representing the blue intervals. To activate the pinch outs on this vein, I go into the surfacing tab and click pinch out. I now activate the surface chronology and order the surfaces in order of their age relationships, with the youngest at the top. With my model complete, I can validate visually using the slicing tools in LeapFrog.